Welcome back to another frosty Monday morning out here in southern Alberta. We did get a whole pile of snow yesterday, pretty much snowed on us all day in this area with a temperature of about minus four. And uh, overall, it's not too terribly bad. Soil temperature right now is right around zero to minus two. There is a little bit of a layer of frost right on the very surface, but down at, at that uh, two inches depth, it's not that bad. We did have really warm temperatures on Friday and Saturday. Saturday it was up to plus 20 in this area. So that soil is holding on to that temperature, so the seed row should be fine. So anything that was seeded last week, I don't see any problem with it having any issues as long as it was not emerged yet. If you did have emerged cereals, I would expect to see some stress and some frost banding. But we'll see if we can find any of those today. Well, the winter wheat is still looking pretty good. Looks like we do have the odd frosted leaf tip kind of here and there. But it's too early to really diagnose any damages yet. It'll probably take two to three days before we can really tell whether this cold snow and uh, freezing rain has done any damage. Well, here's some of the wheat that got seeded exactly a week ago. Hasn't germinated yet, but it looks like it is very, very close. There's just a little expansion on the point there, so I believe that is probably within a day or so of germinating, assuming the soil temperatures are above freezing. Well, it's just a couple hours later now, and all that snow has pretty much melted off. The breeze is certainly helping with that, and it's not even all that muddy, so it's definitely soaked into the ground pretty quickly. But uh, for right now, I'm doing a delivery, dropping off some CP21T3P. So if you've never heard of this, this is a new canola from Winfield United, and it is in testing this year. So these four bags are off to a local farmer for a 40-acre plot. And this is new genetics, which I believe is from the same generation of hybrids is the DKC line so full-on true flex and supposed to have the best standability and pod shatter of any roundup ready variety out there so if you're interested in trying this variety let us know we do still have some bags available well it is a beautiful southern Alberta morning out here we're minus five minus six Monday night again but now the Sun is shining looks weed is looking perfectly fine doesn't look like it's been affected by the cold at all the soil surface here is cold enough that there's layers of, of frozen soil on top. So I was just checking for volunteer canola in this field here. I'm still not seeing very much. But these fields like this are a prime example of a good good reason to use a product like Express Pro from FMC, Prepass or Corex from Corteva. Pretty much every company has some sort of residual canola product that is going to help control that volunteer canola in a cereal stand. And uh, this would be a good time to uh, to apply those products. We've got decent soil moisture now. Get that down, get that soil barrier done, but then you won't have to worry about canola coming up in your barley. Well, here's a field that definitely has a lot of emerged weeds. A lot of this is shepherd's purse you're seeing here. There's also some little koshas are up and they're about a quarter of an inch, so still a fairly small target to hit. Fields like this should definitely get sprayed before they get seeded. Otherwise, you'll end up burying all these little koshas and you'll never get good contact with the herbicide. So fields like this, you know, Black Hawk, Prepass, Corex, DB878 or Intruvix, you know any of the express products there's piles of different burn off options ahead of cereals that would be very effective in a field like this but this week the weather is not looking all that great for spraying we're supposed to be you know minus you know again at night and i believe in just a day or two we're supposed to get another snowfall event so and you know i think about the fourth return of winter so it's probably going to be best to hold off on a field like this until next week when the weather improves and we can get a better effectiveness with our herbicide. Well, here's some yellow peas by Nobleford. These got seeded nine days ago. I got one here just starting to germinate. The other two that came up from the same depth have no sign of germination yet, although they are soft, so they have definitely absorbed moisture. We do have decent moisture here now after Sunday's snowstorm, and this field did get sprayed with Authority Supreme. So this dead kochia that you see here, we should have really good kochia control in this field for early season with that Authority Supreme now that it's been activated by the moisture on Sunday. Well, here's the first seeded Durham. This was down by McGrath. This has been in the ground for about a week and a half, I would say now. So we're just starting to see a little bit of sprouting on these. The seeding depth is pretty good. They were in the moisture. Just soil temperature was cold enough that they didn't want to get going. And it's a good thing that they didn't because the last thing I would want right now is for Durham to be up and out of the ground at first leaf stage when we are supposed to get snow in minus 7 tomorrow. 
Well, as I get farther up along the Milk River Ridge here south of Lethbridge, there is more and more snow on the ground up here. Winter wheat has not grown a whole lot in the last week. Soil temperatures down here, obviously still very cold. Things are slow getting going. Not very much for annual weeds or anything really at all yet. So just have to be patient and wait, and hopefully next week there'll be better weather. I'm out here by Lethbridge, and as you can see, we got a lot of volunteer wheat as well as some downy brome. There's some perennial south thistle coming up, lots of flicks weed, all this kind of stuff. And I'm um, getting a lot of phone calls today about is it uh, a good day for me to be spraying? And my answer today has been if you look at the forecast for the next four days, the weather's looking pretty poor. So if you're putting down a water activated herbicide such as Authority, Focus, Volterra, Fierce, things like that, that are going to require a quarter to a half inch of moisture to activate, then today would probably be a good time. Um, but if you're trying to kill emerged weeds like what's here in this field, I mean even, even with a heavy glyphosate rate, we've had a lot of nights where it's been minus five, minus seven, supposed to be minus seven I believe again tonight, followed by a snowstorm for the next four days. So there's not going to be a whole lot of uptake, it's not going to be terribly effective, and I would recommend holding off on applications like that until the weather improves in next week, where our low temperatures are supposed to be more around zero or even not freezing. So that'll be a nice change. Well, fall spring number three or four is now over and we are back to winter again. This is now Thursday morning and it is zero degrees. The snow is just starting to stick, but it's supposed to uh, pretty much snow all day on us here. So not going to be a whole lot going on in the fields today. And uh, yeah, I guess might as well go to town and see what's going on there. And our office is well stocked with rows all right now. We got lots of gopher bait for controlling these gophers now. We also just got a big shipment of 300 of these Lee Trapworks traps. So if you've never seen these before, I've done a couple other videos on them. But basically you slip it into the hole, gopher comes out, hits those prods, boom. One last gopher, super easy to clean. You just pull the slide back, shake that gopher out, and away you go. A little bit later now, snow's starting to pile up a little bit here and uh, just checking this first seeded barley here by Nobleford, seeing if we have any emergence. It's not really looking like it at the moment here. This has been seeded now for about two weeks. And yeah, it is it is sprouted. But, not uh, blows away on me of course, but not out of the ground yet. So that is lucky. I wouldn't want to have much for emerged crop in weather like this. Hopefully some of the snow sticks and insulates and then we won't have much of a problem with things getting frozen off. So there you go. We'll sprout on them. Well, Friday morning now and as you can see there is very little snow left over from yesterday. The high temperatures we had on Wednesday in the nice weather basically got that soil temperature just high enough that that snow melted off pretty quickly and as you can see there is basically very little moisture left on the surface from it as well. However, right now temperature in the seed row is about minus two. This barley was just seeded Wednesday. So I'm not expecting to do a whole lot for the next day. Sounds like for the next few days, we're supposed to expect single digit highs and single digit lows at night. So I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of growth of anything over the next few days, whether weeds or crop. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.